Hey guys, Ben King here with another After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this flyover effect uh, in After Effects. So you'll see this a lot in movies and TV shows, uh, things like Panic Room or Fringe. Um, they'll have text uh, placed on top of drone footage, aerial footage, and use it as establishing shots or credit sequences. So what you'll need to do this is just a copy of After Effects and some drone footage or helicopter footage so get some stock footage or you can go out and uh, shoot it yourself if you have a drone so i've got my video loaded up here into after effects and what we want to do is just open up the tracker so if you don't have the tracker panel here on the right hand side just go to window and select tracker and it should pop up here so make sure you have your track selected and then come over here to the tracker and click on track camera it doesn't automatically start, just click on this Analyze button here. So this will start analyzing the background and I'll catch up with you when it's all done. Alright, so that's solved now and it's placed these tracking points on top of your video track. So once that's solved, if you don't see those tracking points, make sure you come over to the left here in your effects controls and have 3D Camera Tracker selected. So you'll see if I scrub through this footage, uh, those track points will actually stick to any objects in your frames and follow those objects uh, throughout the whole length of... So if you move your cursor around uh, the video track, you'll start seeing these targets. Uh, so what these targets do is illustrate kind of the perspective that your object or text is going to have. If you select something like this, it'll be more laying on top of the, the river. Or if you select over here, it'll be flat and facing the camera. So what you want to do is find an appropriate perspective uh, relatively close to where you want the text. We want the text uh, kind of hanging over this bridge here. So I'm going to select something here because I want the text facing the camera. So I want a, a perspective that matches that. So have a hunt around and try and find one that has the right perspective for what you want. So I'm going to select this point here. And once you've got your point selected, just right click and hit create text and camera. So what that'll do is create a new text layer that you can edit by itself and you can shift it around and position it where you want it. So if you have your text uh, layer selected, it'll show the text there and get rid of the tracking points. But what we want to do is edit it. So double click on that text layer and your character window will show up. So you can edit it just like any other text in Photoshop or Illustrator. Uh, so I'll just highlight it, I just want it to say Dubai. Just like any other kind of text editing, you can change all of these values. So we want it quite large. And if you scrub through your video, you can see that it moves exactly where that track point was. So if it's not quite in the position that you want, uh, what you can do is come over to your text layer Click into it and just use some of these transform settings just to adjust where it is. You can also adjust the perspective uh, with rotation tools. If transform selected as well, you also have these points here uh, so that you can move it around in 3D space. So I'll be using that. So I just want to move it over to the right a little bit and bring it forward as well. Now it looks like it's getting larger, but it is actually just bringing it forward within the track. So I want it to look like it's placed just above this bridge here. So just scrub through and you can tell a little bit better what the position is. So what we want to do for this piece of video, I want the camera to fly through this uh, bay here. So I'm going to move this around using the anchor point. So just get that right in the middle there. And just keep scrubbing through your footage and making sure that it's in the right position. So we're a little bit off there. So we'll just move it to the right. And there we go. So there you have it guys. That's how you do a text flyover effect in After Effects. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, let me know in the comments and give it a thumbs up. 
And if you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks again guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.